On July 18, 1976, 14-year-old Romanian gymnast Nadia Comici became the first Olympian ever to score a perfect 10 in gymnastics. And she didn't only do it once, she did it seven more times in two different events. No one thought a perfect 10 would be possible. That the scoreboard didn't even allow for that score to be posted as it said 1.00 instead of 10. Here's the story behind all of this today on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. And today's trivia question to listen out for was what gymnast also scored a perfect 10 at the 1976 Olympic Games? So before we dive into this iconic moment, how is it that their scoring is done? Because in gymnastics, it's a little different than in sports like baseball and basketball where you score a run, that's a run. You score a goal, that's a goal. But in gymnastics, you have multiple judges that give you a score and then that score is added up to give you your total. Now for years and years in the Olympics, ever since they included gymnastics in 1928, no one expected anyone to score a 10, which is the maximum score you can have. Every judge that judged the gymnastics events would give a score similar to the, if you if you don't watch gymnastics, similar to the dunk contest in the NBA, you give a score best out of 10. And that's how judges would judge it. So back then, they would have, ju- each judge would score it and you would take the average of those judges and that would be your score for this event. And in 1976, at that time, no one thought you could score above a 10. So before a scoreboard was made, they asked, do we need to include a possible 10? Because technically that would be a possible score. But when they asked the gymnastics committee, they said, don't worry about that because no one will ever get that. So they just put a single number with a decimal as that was how it was always done. Most people didn't think you could score above a 9.9. Now this was the scoring back in the day. Now Ever since 2004, they changed the scoring in gymnastics, and there's an A score and a B score, which bases off your difficulty and artistic impression of it. And so you combine those two to get a score, and usually now is above a 10, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to focus on how it was in 1976 when this iconic moment happened. But this wasn't the first 10 overall in major competition, as Vera Kazavaka actually landed a perfect 10 in the 1967 European Championship during her floor routine. So we come to the 1976 games, and Nadia is representing Romania, and she grew up and got into gymnastics really early in life, as she began at the age of six. And she was actually recruited as she was spotted doing great cartwheels at her schoolyard. And her coaches that she had actually took her all the way to the Olympics and stayed with her. And by the age of 11, she was already one of the best gymnasts in her whole entire country. And she continued to grow in her skills as her body continued to grow. Now, women's gymnastics at this time was really big in the previous Soviet Union countries as they were very strong in the Olympic community. And during her first routine on the uneven bars, she got a perfect 10. And her first routine was actually a routine that everyone did. Everyone had to do the same type of routine. And you basically were judged off of everyone else. And she was able to get a perfect 10 on that, on the uneven bars. And after she landed coming off that final uneven bar, she actually didn't look at the score because she herself would base how she did on how she felt. But she heard a gasp in the audience. And that's when everyone looked and she had 1.00 on the scoreboard. And everyone was a little bit confused. And it had to be announced that that was a perfect 10. Because the, the makers of the scoreboard didn't allow for the perfect 10. And this wouldn't be her only perfect 10. as she would go on to have a perfect 10 on the balance beam as well. And her biggest rival at the time was a Soviet gymnast named Nelly Kim. Who also received a perfect 10 for her vault performance. And would beat Nadia on the vault and the floor routine that same Olympic. But no one ever mentions Kim. Even though she received a perfect 10, she did it after Nadia. As they both had a great Olympics. As they both took home three gold medals from the Montreal Games. 
as Nadia won the all around the uneven bars where she had four perfect tens and the balance beam where she had three perfect tens. So a total of gold medals and her rival Nellie Kim also won three gold medals as she won it for the vault where she got a perfect 10, the floor routine and her team won the gold medal in that gymnastics year. Now this rocketed Nadia into instant fame in not only the gymnastics community, but all around the world as it was something no one had ever thought they, someone could do, let alone a 14 year old girl And this broke down walls as the first man to land a perfect 10 in the competition was Soviet gymnast Alexander Diantin, who received a perfect score on the vault and took a record-breaking eight medals home from the 1980 Olympics in Moscow. Although he was competing against less competition as 66 countries boycotted that, that Olympic event. And multiple others have gone on to get perfect 10s ever since that 1976 games. As someone got a perfect 10 in the 1980, 1984, 1988, and the 1992 games, the perfect 10 was all achieved. And that's a a little bit of the reason why gymnastics kind of went away from this perfect 10, because if you can get the highest, does that really mean you got the best? Because maybe you could get better. As for Nadia, she did go on to compete at the 1980 Moscow Olympics where she won gold in the balance beam and the floor routine and took home silver in the team and all around. In total, she ended up with nine Olympic medals and retired from the sport at the age of 22. That same year, she got her perfect 10. She also met the love of her life, her husband, Bart Connor, who is an American gymnast. And to this day, they still train gymnasts who compete around the world and even though the scoring system has changed all those who got that perfect 10 will always be remembered as doing something perfect which is something you don't get a lot in sports was that perfect sometimes we don't know we have the perfect score in gymnastics we have the perfect game in baseball but sometimes the word perfect just gives you that extra oomph and that extra meaning behind what you achieved And that's exactly what the Perfect 10 did at the moment in 1976 when the walls were broken down and the Perfect 10 was now achievable. And thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. If you like this story, please follow us on our socials. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. We're on all of those. We like to post small videos on there of all our episodes so you can connect faces with our topics. And come back tomorrow for more Daily Sports History. And did you catch the answer to today's trivia question? What gymnast also scored a perfect 10 at the 1976 Olympic Games? Soviet Union's Nelly Kim.